The Institute for Human Development at Northern Arizona University presents. A Native American man in his late 20s sits in his chair typing into his phone. He lives in Carrizo on the Fort Apache Reservation in Arizona. He is wearing a black t-shirt and blue jeans. He has short black hair and has scars on his arms. His name is Thomas Hamry. He presses a button on his phone. I am going to be an astrophysicist because all my life I've been dreaming about the stars and about the unknown. I want to discover something that no one else would. Title, There is Always a Way. I'm Thomas Hamry. I consider myself to be a full-blooded Native American. Thomas walks outside. He has a limp and holds his left arm bent towards his midsection due to cerebral palsy. I was with a difficult childhood with abuse and seeing things that nobody should. Thomas is standing under a large cottonwood tree near a creek. I started drugs in elementary. <laughs> I didn't care about my life, but I was doing to feel something else other than pain. The sun flares in the low angle view. I was 25 after a suicide attempt. I thought, what am I doing with my body and mind? This is not right. After I got clean, my thoughts and my emotions was a lot clearer. So my thought of going to college was the greatest thing that happened. One thing Thomas said to me was, my goal is to be the native Steve Stephen Hawking's. And, uh, I was like, okay, let's make that happen. Let's see what we got to do. Let's start with square one. My name is Rene Garcia Guerre, and I'm a student development coordinator working with the Institute for Human Development. We are working on a grant funded post secondary program that helps adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities go to college by providing them supports that they need. Scenes of us setting up a new laptop for Thomas that was provided by the Supporting Inclusive Practices in Colleges program. Because of where he lives right here, right now, he doesn't have you know access to transportation to go to the Sholo campus, so he's gonna do it online. We're here today to bring the hotspot, get that set up, uh, get this computer set up, and just start practicing too. How, how do we do those basic skills of how to email people? What is like the proper structure of an email? You can't just come out here and say, hey, we got this program, come on in, we're gonna help you. You have to know a little bit about the culture, a little bit about the community. That way you can build trust with the people. I'm back in Carrizo, checking in on Thomas. We are standing outside of his grandma's house talking. He's been in class since August. Uh, we got all the resources he needs now. He's got a mobile hotspot. He's got a laptop. My classes is laggy and sometimes I miss a large chunk of my class, but I Google the information that I miss. I'm kind of like a shooting star. By the end, I'm burned out. Burning up in the atmosphere. <laughs> See, kind of be more like a sun, man, where you can radiate. You know what I mean? Like, instead of like a, a meteor or a shooting star, you know, keep that kind of balance, that energy, that, that heat going so that you can stay motivated. Thomas types on his phone. We had a telescope, but it got knocked over by a wild animal chew on. How big was it? I don't know. People may think working with someone like Thomas, maybe because of their disability or their life situation, they may not be able to get into higher education. But that's not true. If we provide students with the proper supports and help them overcome barriers they may face, whether that's a lack of transportation, lack of a reliable internet, or a large animal that ate their telescope, they can be successful students. Thomas is standing under the cottonwood trees. The sun is shining bright behind him. Thomas wants to go all the way. He's aiming for the stars, and that's what we are here to help him do. Help him set the bar high for himself and be a light for his people who dream big. At first, when I was a kid, it hard, extremely hard and frustrating, but as I got older, I got used to not speaking as fast or as loud that I wanted to. But I want to say if someone that is disabled see themselves as their disability are misguided and there is a way out, there's always a way around something that is in the way. Scrolling title, There is Always a Way, with Thomas Hamry and Rene Garcia Guerre. Produced, directed, camera editing, John Schaefer. Additional camera, Matt Nelson. Lights, Jeremy Antonica. Sound, Julia Antonica. For more information on the SIPSI program, visit nau.edu. Funding provided by the Vital Projects Fund.